Nike stock is down almost 50% from its all-time high, taking the company's market cap to $138 billion. Shares are now lower than they were at the beginning of 2020, which is pretty unusual for a company of Nike's caliber. But there's a clear reason why. Nike's revenue on a trailing 12-month basis is up less than 2%, while operating income has fallen around 17% since 2021. Profits have also fallen, with net income down 13% and net income margin falling to 10%, and management thinks that revenue will continue to fall over the next couple of quarters. There are several reasons for this performance. The first is a difficult economic environment, with consumers pulling back spending, especially in China. However, there's a sense that Nike also has itself to blame, and management admitted that the company hasn't done enough to drive newness or innovation. Competition from the likes of Hoka and OnCloud also seems to be gaining momentum, with OnCloud recently hitting $2 billion in annual sales. So Nike is working to improve execution and recoup lost revenue. After years of pushing direct-to-consumer sales, the company is backtracking and planning to lean more heavily into wholesale retailers. This is a significant reversal of a DTC strategy that began all the way back in 2017. The launch of Air Max DN and this year's Olympics can also provide a much needed boost. But the problem for investors is that even after falling 50%, Nike's stock still isn't that cheap, trading at 26 times earnings and 28 times free cash flow. That valuation is still reasonably high by historical standards. Let's assume Nike grows top line revenue at 6% a year for the next 5 years, similar to what it's done in the past, and maintains a net income margin of 10%. In that scenario, net income in 5 years time would be 6.9 billion. Apply a 30 times multiple and the market cap gets to $207 billion, which works out to an annualized return around 11% per year, including dividends. Given Nike's reach and strong brand, the company should be able to overcome this rough patch. The opportunity for significant investment returns looks fairly limited, but the stock looks more like a buy than a sell. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in Nike's stock. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at 3minutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.